with you today. We've been in the 10th chapter of Matthew where Jesus sends the disciples out into the villages of Judea. And remember, it was just to Judea, just to Jews, because salvation is to them first and then from them to us. Like Jesus said to the woman at the well, who was a Samaritan, he said, salvation is from the Jews. Well, he also told them not only just go to the cities of Judea, but he also said, don't take any extra money with you. Don't take a change of clothes. Don't take an extra staff or an extra pair of shoes. And he said, don't charge anybody. You received what I gave you freely. And so what you give to them, you do that freely. And then he said, whoever will accept your message, pronounce your blessing of peace upon them. But if they do not accept your message, take your blessing of peace back. And then when you leave that city, shake the dust off of your feet. It's a way of showing contempt for that city. And then he said, whoever doesn't receive you or heed your words as you go out, shake your dust off and it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Hmm. Well, those cities weren't destroyed by fire like Sodom and Gomorrah was. But I want to remind you that this passage says in the day of judgment. In the day of judgment, it's going to be harder on some of the cities of Judea that rejected the gospel than it was on Sodom and Gomorrah. Why is that? It's because they knew more in those cities of Judea than they knew in Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah had a general revelation of, of the Creator, and they had the history of Abraham, and, and they knew some things about that. But they didn't have all of the prophecies and all of the signs and all of the history and the scriptures that the first century Jews had. And that's why Jesus said, to him who has much, much will be expected. To who, he who has been given much, much is expected. And so consequently, if you know a lot, you're responsible for what you know. I think about Americans. The average American household has two and a half Bibles. I don't know where that half Bible comes from, but you know, that's how it averages out. A lot of people don't read the Bible, and a lot of people don't believe the Bible. But nobody has heard the gospel more than the people of the United States of America. And the Bible says the one who's received the most light is the one who's going to answer for the most. So you have the people way off in a foreign land living in a hut, and, and they see evidence of God Almighty, the Creator, and they worship a tree instead. They're going to answer to God for that. But then people who have the scriptures and the prophecies and the fulfillment of those prophecies and the gospel written down and can flip through channels and find a dozen stations that have the gospel on them, they're going to answer for more than that person in that hut. So I urge you, if you have heard the scriptures, if you've heard the gospel, please respond to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because your responsibility before God is huge. I'm all done. God bless you.